Helios, the 15th spirit of the Goetia, starting with the traditional interpretation of Helios, how it relates to the tarot, and then talking about my own personal workings with Helios. Heligos appears as a knight riding a horse, sometimes with wings, holding a lance with a trident at the top, sometimes with a serpent wrapped around the lance, hence as a serpent in the seal. It's very fiery energy. Forms as of hidden things and wars to come, and strategies for battle. Frank is a duke, strongest between the 13th of August to the 22nd of August. Directions the north, Towers of Seven of Wands, planet Venus, metal, copper. Element is water, but also earth. Color green, plant is thyme, he sends sandalwood, zodiac, Leo. Chant, Jaden, Anka, Eligos, and Nan. Benefits. Discover things. Discover hidden things and wars to come. Help come up with a strategy in life. Cleanse the energy. Associated with the Seven of Wands, Valor. So Mars is a Leo. There is conflict is guaranteed, victory is not. So we're having those moments where we're having conflict. We just need that push, that fiery energy to go forward. But victory is not guaranteed. So we need to look at our own Valor our own qualities that can help us push through. So this is why he's associated with strategizing in life. What is the thing that I need to do next to move forward? Just to give that one extra push to win. And if I do not, I will fail. So with this time working at Eligos, I decided to present a glass of water. Because he's a watery spirit. I believe Jaden means water. And so I made this offering and I was going to drink it during the ceremony. I also had a container of thyme, which I wrote his name on, from the Bless. I needed help strategizing my life to go forward, to at this crucial stage. I also would like blessings to help me with my throat. And if you can hear my voice now, in comparison to my last video I made, my voice is much better. Still need to make that final push. <laughs> So Eligos came different sizes, but mostly stayed in a, in a small form within uh, the triangle, uh, riding a very, very white horse. He was very, very red, and he had like a flaming lance with a uh, with a serpent around it. So I spent some time and energy going in and out, basically telling me that I just need to go do it. That I just, just go do it, just the energy of go do it, that's it. Cleanse my energy and just go do it, just go do it. Just go do it. Just go ahead, just go for it, go into battle, just go do it. That was my message, go do it. Like, you can go do something and you can fail, that's fine. Learn from it and go do it again. 
جيدن أونكا إليغوس فنان So he taught, he taught me a new banishing rite to cleanse my energy, which I am now experimenting with to replace the lesser banishing rite of pentagram and star ruby, because it's a little bit different. And so far it is working out for me. I will make a more clear video in the future about this banishing rite that I'm calling the Lance of Eligos. So after breathing through my energy centers and chakras, being down into the earth, connecting with the hot molten lava and the fire energy from the earth, pulling it up through the central channel. Because I had a sore throat at the time, this the lance, the head of the lance goes into my throat, then becomes the trident. So the top flame of the trident is going through the central energy channel and the left and right are now cleaning the left and right energy channels. Because I have a sore throat, I'm doing this this way, but I will experiment doing it a slightly different way when my sore throat is gone. But ideally we could do, we could do this, there's a particular Energy center needs to be cleansed. The trident, the head of the lance, be going into that and then turn into a trident. Then becoming a flaming pentagram. So bring awareness to the left foot, inhaling and breathing up a fiery line to the top crown of the head. Exhaling down, the flame goes down to the right foot. Inhaling, the flame goes to the left hand. Exhaling horizontally across to the right hand. Exhaling down to the left foot. Again, I'll make a, another video making this more clear. But this is my new banishing which will cleanse my energy. So after shown this new cleansing right, he came as even more red and fiery devil character. Very much like the devil from the from Iron Maiden's number of the beast. It was, it was, after I did this, the energy was much more uh, intense uh, and vibrant. And just, again, just go do it. You know what to do, go do it. Cleanse your energy. Just go do things. That's that. That's how you win a battle. And since then, well, I definitely feel better. I feel more cleansed. My throat is nearly <laughs> is nearly clear, uh, and uh, new job opportunity uh, for a career change uh, is in front of me, and I just need to go do it. So yeah, uh, for me, Ellie goes. The ritual was much more psychedelic than I was, than I was expecting. Of course, always oh, is more psychedelic. I expect if you don't expect anything, it's more psychedelic. And yeah, definitely help me with the energy. I need to go for it. Jaden, Anka, Eligos, and that. Uh,